What's up guys? Today we're gonna talk about our onboarding process at Breadloaf and how we get kicked off with new clients. I get asked this question all the time when we're on audit opportunities or talking with new prospects. So I figured I'd make a quick podcast episode and video that describes what we do and how we get started because we like to move fast. We know time is important and the last thing you want when you're evaluating a partner or starting to work with a partner is things to slow down and not move fast to get results. So here's how it works. When we're kicking off with a partner, we've obviously already gotten the terms of our agreement and the scope of work defined in an agreement. And from the moment that agreement gets signed in DocuSign, we usually have a kickoff call scheduled within 24 hours to 48 hours of that. We like to move really fast. That kickoff call is only like a half an hour to 30, 40, 40 minutes. And in that kickoff call, we invite our whole team and our client's whole team. We get that call scheduled. We record that call also. We got kickoff call notes. And we like to then move forward with getting our clients into our workspace, even before that call. We'd like to get it done usually before that call, but sometimes the timing will get it done right after. That workspace is fundamentally where we are gonna get everything done. It's our desk, it's our file cabinet, it's our conference room, it's our communication board, it's our whiteboard. This is where we get everything done. And we like to use Basecamp as that workspace. So we use Basecamp as our project management system. And what's great about Basecamp is we can have everyone in there and it's super affordable. It's easy to use. It's got a great mobile app. We've used it for years now. I couldn't imagine moving to something else. We've evaluated other platforms, but Basecamp works really well for us especially on the retention side of things. Prior to you know the call, we start in sending out invites, we get our client in the base camp, and then as we approach that kickoff call, we start off by doing team introductions. I love to just give an introduction on everyone that's gonna be on our team that's gonna be working and also on the client. And I also like the client to spend a couple minutes to just give us a baseline of who the brand is, what is it that you guys do, what is it that you sell, what are some of the challenges you've had? And what are you most excited about moving forward with us? This is great because it helps us understand what's the ethos and the vision of the company, what's the history, what are you guys about, and how we're gonna do. We're gonna be moving forward and doing a lot of research. And we talk about all the prospect clients that we have every day. We've had some team members that are involved in an audit before that. So we're pretty well versed in the brand, but that's the first step, right? We have that kickoff call. On that kickoff call, we talk about project management. We we talk about what's the cadence of our calls. Is it weekly or bi-weekly communication? We also go into asset and platform requests. Where do we want to get all that? What are we requesting? We also send over a copy brief. So we talk about that. And then we go into scope and expectations. What are we actually responsible for? If we're doing retention. How many emails are we sending a week? Do we have any automation that we need to get moving forward on? Is there any deliverability issues? Are we also sending SMS? Are we getting into direct mail or push? What's going on? This is a clearly defined time for our team to talk about that with our client. And then from there, we get into any other questions that the client has. Pretty simple. We send over the notes. We have everything recorded. We have that call. And then right after we get off that kickoff call and we get everything done, everyone's in base camp and we start assigning tasks to the client. Now these tasks are going to be, hey, can you please upload your creative assets here, your branding requirements? Can you fill out the brand voice survey? The brand voice survey is a survey that our copy team uses to more or less understand what's the tone and the voice that we're actually writing the messaging in for the brand. We're also getting Shopify access, Calavio access, Google Analytics, access to all the tools we need for running paid. We're getting paid account access with our business manager. It all depends on what we're working on for that brand direct. We have those tasks assigned. Usually those things are getting done within the first couple of days of the engagement. And usually right after the kickoff call, we're having our planning call. We're scheduling out the planning call. And the planning call is gonna be with our strategist that on the content side, that's actually planning everything out. And usually I'll get involved or someone on the campaign team will as well. And we'll start mapping out the, the next 30, 60, 90 days. Usually we like to focus on the first 30 days and we're most, most of the time we're getting the first campaign done within two weeks of the kickoff call. So that's giving us really 10 business days 
to get things done ahead of time. Sometimes we can get campaigns done a little sooner, but it's mostly, it's gonna be that two week period. Once we have the planning done and it's approved by the client, we're gonna plug everything into Basecamp into campaigns and our copy team is going to then get assigned tasks to start working on copy from there our design team is going to start building out the designs and then we're going to be launching those campaigns into market it's a pretty seamless kickoff process we've done this hundreds of times and it's bulletproof and it lets us move fast and at the end of the day we try not to make the kickoff process too complicated we want to make it simple we want to make it fast we want to make it easy and we want to get started working with clients because we ultimately know our job is to get our clients results we need to drive revenue and that is a top priority for our team that's how we kick off that's how we operate and I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you're interested in working with us in the future, you can find where to reach out to me or someone on our team down in the show notes. And we'd love to chat with you soon. So I hope that's helpful. Talk to you later. Thanks.